hey guys thank you so much for joining me today hope you're doing okay if you're new here karibu sana and feel free to subscribe and if you're part of this fam thank you so much you're the best <laughs> so today i just want to do like a really quick one of some of my favorite beauty products so yeah that's all i wanted to do today and let me just get right into the product let me start with the moisturizer that i am loving i have been loving for quite some time and it is the simple clear skin oil balancing moisturizer this is a really good moisturizer for all skin types it's oil balancing that means it won't be too shiny it won't be extreme matte it is just a perfect moisturizer according to Mook. i will definitely recommend this i have been loving it and i recommend it to people next is the simple <laughs> yeah things are simple i'm a simple girl so i keep everything simple so this is a simple facial toner it's simple kind to skin soothing facial toner i love this i love this toner it's refreshing it tones the skin it just works good on the skin it removes excess like if you wash your face and you still have some dirt or some makeup left it removes it removes the makeup and it tones the skin and it is awesome the thing that i love about simple products is that they also do not have strong perfumes so if you're the person who is who does not like strong smells and scents then this is for you but i love them they have been good to me and i really do love them next is the super matte anti-shine professional cosmetics by makeup international this one has been my go-to primer for people who have really oily skin this one mattifies your skin so well it is a very very good anti-shine if you're looking into buying something that will make you matte it will mattify your skin like crazy this one is really really good but i will not recommend this to people who have dry skin because i think you'll crack it is really nice if you are oily and want to mattify your skin so next is this one here this is a matte prep and trim i love this this one has been one of my favorites has always been my favorite so i started out on this small one this is the travel size because I just wanted to see if I would love it. I didn't want to buy the big one because it's a bit pricey. I just thought, let me try with this one first and see if it works, then I get the big one. And yeah, it worked and I loved it. I got the big one. It gives the skin a really good glow and also preps your skin. You can use it before applying makeup and after applying makeup to set your makeup. And let me tell you guys, I use this even when I'm not wearing makeup. It just gives the skin a really healthy glow that I love. I'm currently loving the good old MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. This one, I am currently loving it. I have done a review on this. So if you have not watched the video, I will put it in the description box below. Just check it if you have not seen the review. It's a really good foundation. So instead of explaining a lot about it and why I love it, you can go and check that video. So next is the, the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. Oh, I love this foundation. I love how it makes the skin look. It absorbs into the skin really well. It sets into the skin really well. It photographs amazing. And it's also fairly priced. So for drugstore foundation, this one I would recommend. And I'll be doing a review. Okay, so look out for that. So next is this. This is the Illegal Pro Conceal. This concealer here, it's a really good concealer. I bought this because of YouTube, of course. I saw a lot of people using it on YouTube and they thought, why not try it? And when I tried it, I loved it. So I've been using it for all these years. Yeah, I love it. And it's fairly priced by the way and they have different shades so you can always get your shade the next concealer that I love is Pro Conceal and Correct palette I have the dark palette it has NC 
45 and 50, and W45 and 55, and then ochre and pure orange, which you can use to color correct. I really love it because I get all the shades that I need inside a palette, so it's easy for me as an artist, and it is also fairly priced and it covers really well. Let's go to powders. I love Crayolan powders. Yo, I have like I think four or five of translucent powders just for backup. The love is real. I love the Derma Color mixing powder and they are transparent powder. Okay, this is how it looks. Don't laugh, don't laugh. The struggle is real. It, it just it fell down one time and everything went haywire. So this is how it looks. Yeah. And it is really big. It has a lot. It has it's 60 grams. So that's that's a lot. You stay with this baby for long. It's value for money. And it does a really good job. And what I love about this one specifically, the translucent one, is, is that I can use it on whatever skin tone. All the skin tones. All the skin tones. And it works amazing. The battery went on me. So <laughs> let's continue before it dies again. So the next one is the good old MAC Studio Fix Powder. Someone told me about them and I went ahead and bought them and I love them. It adds coverage to what, to what you already have. So that makes it like really good and also covers really well and mattifies the skin. In fact, if you do not want to put on foundation, you just apply the powder and you're good to go. This one is amazing. Highlighters. So, if you follow me, if you follow me on Instagram, you know how much I love this. I even put it out there. It is a super sharp chic highlighter by Colourpop. This one is in Might Be. This is the shade Might Be. I really love, love, love it. It is so pigmented. It highlights. <laughs> I'm telling you guys that you should see this. The other one is the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer. It is a bronzer but I use it as a highlighter and also as an eyeshadow. And it is so pigmented. It is pigmented as well. Let me just use this other finger to swatch it alongside the Colourpop one. You can see. Next, <laughs> Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Eden. I love, 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 love this. I also bought this because of YouTube. YouTube made me buy this. Should I do a video of YouTube buys? Maybe I will. But anyway, YouTube made me buy this. And I do not regret buying it. It is actually really, really nice. It primes the eyelid really well. And I love it also because it kind of gives the whole eyelid like a neutral color so the colors that you apply on the lid will pop and stay there the whole day and i love it for that it's really really nice currently i'm loving the house of tara liner it is a retractable eye pencil and it is black it's really nice it's really nice i'm loving it i'm loving it i get mine from nasarian hey nasarian Thank you for hooking me up with this pencil. I love it. The other pencil that I love is the... This is a lip pencil. This is a lip liner. It is by Colourpop and I love it. They are so creamy and applies really well. And in fact, you can wear it alone without lipstick on top. It is that good. This one is the one in brown. I wanted like a really good brown lip liner. And I found it. And I was done like that so next on the favorites i have the color pop lippies i have six here i have others but these are my favorites at the moment the shades are limbo lux bedazzled zipper stingray and more better here those are my current favorite lip colors i also love the nuba matte lipsticks this one is in 46 and I can actually see through 
we are done. We're getting another one. <laughs> it's over. Uh, I'm still getting another one. I love that it is a cool red tone. Uh, that makes it really good on all skin tones. Yeah. And it also makes your tip look whiter. Yeah. This is my favorite setting spray. I'm telling you guys, this thing is the business. It is amazing. I love, 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 love this. I would recommend this to people. If you would want to have your makeup staying fresh all day, get this baby. Yeah, get it, get it. Actually got another one. I have to. That's how much I love it. I really love it. My Morphe 35W palette is actually my current favorite palette. I love it because of the colors. It has warm toned colors. It has earth tone colors. It has nice, amazing matte colors that have really good payoff. And also uh, copper, gold. These are actually my go-to colors. These are my go-to colors and that is what makes this palette a favorite palette so far. So that is it for me guys. I just hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed as much as I enjoyed doing it. And until next tutorial, peace, love and makeup. Woo! Feeling so fresh, so juicy. Only rock with the best, I'm choosy. I got it so hot. You choose it, hey. and again at the same time, bougie, ooh, I wanna take a picture, hey. that's my style of the Caught a good vibe, I can feel it in my soul, driving around Nairobi like a boss, I don't mean to brag